hello friends welcome back to my channel and today i'm back again with another beautiful foliage plant and this is dracaena massagiana or it is also known as corn plant and it's also called by various names like dragon plant or cane plant or mass cane and this is an easy plant to care for and it's also known for its lushy long and distinctive foliage and it can be a perfect a choice for your living areas and again it's a tropical plant and native to africa so i love this plant it's also popular for its thick healthy stalks and uh, it's pretty inexpensive as well i would say and uh, it can i mean grow up to 4 to 5 feet tall even indoors i would repeat it again its botanical name is dracaena massagiana or commonly it is known as mass cane so let's talk about light conditions for this plant my corn plant they love to be in indirect bright light so you can keep them in any corner of your home where they get enough indirect bright light avoid keeping them in direct sunlight because it may cause their leaves to turn brown so i would recommend you just keep them in low to between low to medium uh, light or partial shade would be fine for this plant i mean they can tolerate the low light but they cannot bear the bright sunlight okay so keep this in your mind and let's talk and now just let's let's talk about the soil conditions for this particular plant i would say you can uh, get any indoor potting mix for this plant from a nursery or a garden center or if you want you can make your own potting mix at home by adding two parts of peat moss or coco coir one part of perlite perlite kind of helps to drain out the excess water and half part of composite that's it it's simple if you want you can make your own potting mix at home or if you want you can get a potting mix from the nursery as well so now comes the tricky part watering your plant always keep in your mind before watering your plant you check for the soil you can place your finger 2 3 inches down in the soil or you can check with a stick so if it comes out clear that means your plant is thirsty you can water it or if it if it comes out with some like soil in it or moisture in it then you can hold on to watering your plant for a day or two or if it is coming clear only then water your plant do not over water your plant especially in winters it might cause the root rot and your plant may die so i am kind of like in winter times i am just watering it in once in 10 days and i always check for the soil conditions before watering my plant if it dries only then i water my plant so guys be careful always before watering your plant check for the soil okay and yes one more thing i would recommend that whenever you water your plant water it thoroughly from top to bottom let the water come out from the drainage holes right this is the right method to water your plants and then you can wait for a week or 10 days and then later on you can water again there has to be some kind of gap between the waterings so now let's talk about temperature and humidity i would recommend keeping this plant between 60 to 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit would be the best temperature for them or let's say if between 15 to 30 degrees Celsius would be the best temperature for this plant as uh, as far as humidity is concerned i would again repeat that it's since it's a tropical plant it prefers high humidity so however um, it does well with the low humid conditions as well but if you see the tips are turning brown it may be because of the low humidity so you can like mist around your leaves or you can wipe the leaves with the damp cloth like i am doing so this makes uh, the the plant feels uh, i mean better or it looks more green and more beautiful or you can increase the uh, humidity by just putting a pebble tray or a gravel tray underneath your plant or keeping two three plants together this is another good idea to create humidity humid conditions for your plants and or or you can use a humidifier it's completely up to you guys what do you want to do you can pick any one of these options and 
So when it comes to fertilizing your plants, I would say mass skein, they are not very demanding. They are not asking for too much of fertilizer. So I would recommend you can, if you want, you can fertilize your plant with organic balanced liquid fertilizer. Once in a year is enough for this particular plant. So it's easy. So are these plants toxic to human beings? I would say no, they are not. But yeah, they are can be little bit toxic to your pets. So be careful when your pets are around this plant. And now let's talk about pruning and propagating. So I would recommend that if you see any sick or discolored or brown looking leaves, you can just prune them with garden shears. And as propagation is concerned, I would recommend that propagating this plant during the growing season like spring and summer would be the best time. You can take a stock cutting and you can put them in the rooting hormones and then you can propagate it and your new plant will be ready. Or if you see any pest attack on this plant, you can use a just a insecticidal soap spray. You can spray on them or you can just wipe down the leaves with the plain water. That will be also okay. So that was all about my corn plant. If you would ask me that why should I get this plant, I would say five things. First, it's tolerant to indirect light conditions. Second, it's, an, it's not that expensive. Third, the watering is easy. You don't have to water it a lot. And fourth, I would say because of its leaves, beautiful long striped variegated leaves. And last but not the least, because it is going to improve your indoor air quality, guys. Believe me. So get this plant home and bring this home, guys. So corn plant, basically, uh, they come with uh, two stalks or sometimes more than two stalks. Mine particular one came with only one woody trunk and uh, it came along with the you can see here like pathos and in the bottom which eventually like enhances the beauty of uh, this plant and i would recommend if you are a beginner bring this plant home guys it's really a low maintenance plant and uh, it's known for its stocky stems which eventually feels like you have a tree in your home so and that's it from my side thanks for watching this video if you really like this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and till then take care stay happy happy planting and i'll come up with another video on some other house plants till then take care bye bye and happy planting bye